Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. It is Sweetest Dolls, and today we're opening a very special doll, as you can tell. Um, I was able to get my hands on these limited edition Jasmine Collector doll that came out technically, I guess, first at D23. This is the non-D23 variant, obviously, but I was very lucky. Disney started doing a bunch of rollbacks on a bunch of limited dolls. Jasmine sold out online, but my local Disney store, since I do live near New York City and I go to school in the city, um, I was able to get Jasmine for, I think, like $80 is how much it came out to after tax or something, which is insane because retail for her is like, I think, $149.99 or $150. So I'm just so happy. Also, disclaimer, I'm filming on a different um, phone as than usual. So let me know if the um, quality of the audio camera, like, focus and everything is, like, better or worse, because I need to figure out which one I want to film on, so just let me know in the comments below, but let's just get onto the box. So, just starting off with the box details, we obviously have the Jasmine Collector doll here, we have the Human Edition number of 5600, we have the, um, Peacock details on the sides and also in the middle. This motif is on the doll a lot, which I love. Um, I also love this, like, very cobalt blue color and on the back we have the description which says celebrating 30 years of disney's aladdin disney heirs are proud to present this limited edition jasmine doll our enchanting princess soars above it all to all sorry, oh my god sorry <laughs> soars above it all in pursuit of her dreams though jasmine faces challenges from a villainous fight vizier Nothing can keep her down. She's able to find her independence in her one true love, Aladdin. Join our heroine with this keepsake sure to sweep fans and collectors alike off their feet like a magic carpet ride. So yeah, um, the retail price is not on here. This doll is also sold out online, so you don't really need like that barcode. But I think the again, I think the retail was like one fifty or something like that. Um, this box is ginormous. Like I, I don't think you'll be able to tell the like true scope of it on camera, but. Let me just, like, just to show you, <laughs> like, it's, it's massive. Oh, God, hopefully the white balance is fine now. But the doll opens like this. Oh, God, please open. And there she is! I'm so excited. Um, we have the 30th um, Aladdin sticker here, which I love the art that they were doing for these. Really cute. Um, we also have on the doors, we have some, what looks to be like lotus flowers. Um, we also have it on the plastic here. It's kind of hard to show because of just how big this box is. On the bottom, we have Jasmine's name. And then on the side right here, we have the certificate. I'm not going to show my number, but I have number 587 out of 5,600. So pretty low number. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go off camera to unbox her because, my god, is this gonna probably take a long time, and I will see you guys in a second. Jasmine is out of the box, and I I took just, like, five, ten minutes, I don't even know how long it was, to just ad admire her. Like, I knew I was gonna love her, but this is, like, insane. I've been wanting a Jasmine Lemon edition or just, like, 17 inch for a really long time. Aladdin is one of my comfort movies. It's been my favorite since I was little, so this is really, really exciting. Um, so I don't really know where to start because there is so much detail on this doll, so I guess we'll just start with the face because, wow, they did her right. So as you can tell, we have the gorgeous Rudy Lashes, which I think Disney always does well. There are a few times where they're not the best, but these are gorgeous. And then we have the makeup, which is like gold on the lid. And then we have some purple smoked out. It is really gorgeous. And then we have the gorgeous brown eyes. The brows are also really nice. Like that, look at that detail. Oh my God. And then we have like a, a two-tone red lip. Really gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, as for the hair, there is quite a lot of product in it. God, no. Oh, I had that all done. Whatever. I'll show you that next, I guess. So the hair is, is pretty simple. It's just two pieces up here tied back, brought down, and kind of brought into her, like, um, bubble pony that we usually see in the movie. And then we also just have, like, some bits that are very harshly gelled, as you can hear. <laughs> um, 
but gorgeous hair it does feel better quality than esmeralda because she's the only one i have with the i think it's black nylon but this one feels like a lot better than hers so i have high hopes for when i wash it out yes i'm washing her hair out don't attack me i just can't stand gel even if it's on like a limited edition doll um next are the earrings which are gorgeous i don't like know what to call the shape i guess it would just it just reminds me of like a peacock feather really pretty and then we also have that um faux gem on there obviously on both sides the only problem with disney's like metal earrings is that they all have that problem where they like just like go they like form to the face so you can't even really see them head on so that's a little unfortunate next is probably my favorite i think of all of her accessories which is this really gorgeous necklace it, it looks like it's supposed to be like a tiara for this would probably be a good tiara for like any 12 inch um jasmine but it just goes all the way around and then on the back it looks like it's supposed to have like a chain connecting connecting it i don't know if this has a chain on the um d23 version and that's why that's there's like just holes there but let me know because i'm i'm, I'm inclined to know figure it out um next is the bodice or the top i guess gorgeous the embroidery on this is really pretty i love how simple it is i think a lot of Jas Jasmine's outfits specifically lean themselves to the more simplistic style, so I'm glad that they didn't go overboard with the embroidery. Um, it's really, really pretty. I love the off-the-shoulder type thing. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be off-the-shoulder because this, like, on the shoulder, like, it looks pretty, but I feel like this is just more, like, Jasmine style. Um, we have some gold trim here, and then we go into, I want to say that's chiffon. If not, it's, like, an amazing organza or something like that that make the um, puff sleeves and it it comes off more like way more blue on camera but in person it's like a true like indigo purple so just a little tidbit about that um and next are the accessories like the bracelets really gorgeous we have three of the same one right there oh god and then we have one that has a bunch of rhinestones in it sorry I, this is like really not cooperating i'm probably not gonna end up filming on this camera but it would be so convenient for me because it is more storage than my phone but we'll see if the camera if like the quality difference isn't too much for you guys and like it looks the same as my other videos just let me know but if it if you don't like this quality then obviously i'll go back to my phone um but anyways next is the other side which has these is that one bracelet i can't tell it looks like it's supposed to be three separate ones. It might just be stuck together because of the packaging, but that looks like it's supposed to be like three gold bangles. And then we have another gold bracelet there with, I can't really tell what that is on there, but yeah, well, you can see the design. <laughs> um, next, she has this like, I don't know what you would call it, like clasp in the front that has like these feathers that have two of these chains leaning down. I, everything here is metal plated or at least feels like it's metal plated like the earrings the necklace the bracelet this amazing I'm, I'm like very impressed by that um i love this little detail i don't know it just like ties everything in together really well i feel especially when you start to go down to the rest of the outfit um speaking of before we get to that please don't fall over oh god i just want to like put her on her stand so i can show you the like robe cape lit thing that she comes with i don't even know what you would call that like just like a throw over but she comes with this um it's a very light material it feels so luxe like look at just how that like falls in the wind <laughs> i don't know i just think it's fun um i'm excited to play around with it because i love pieces like this because it can really just like change the entire silhouette of an outfit so yeah next is the like i don't even like i don't know what we would call this because it's like a skirt and then pants but we'll look at the pants first it's all the same material but the pants are like the harem harem pants that we see on jasmine a lot throughout the movie and just all of her outfits really cute really form-fitted um i guess i'll show the shoes too 
they're just like basic kitten heels with some fun ornate patterns on them they're open toe super super cute and then onto the part that i think everybody is just like obsessed with is like her like the embroidery on this doll is magnificent i'm glad that they made it so that it wouldn't get busy until the bottom because like just i just want to like pan over this and show you how gorgeous it has a bunch of these like false rye stones that like have like a sort of um multi-chrome feel with some more like rhinestones there All of these panels are the same, except for the very back one, which is a lot more ornate, which I think is the design that we get on the D23 one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just, like, it's so gorgeous. And we get that going all the way around. And it, look at just how that, like, shifts on camera, even. It just, like, oh my god, it's so multidimensional. So pretty. I also think that this I want to say this slit right here is so that you can like take this base off of the stand so then it will like go I don't know this stand is very strange let me just show you because <laughs> the like holder is so wide like it doesn't fit around the waist it like barely fits around like where the hips are which I think is the intended purpose like it's supposed to like go there I think but it doesn't really hold like they just like put it too high because like it should be lower. I don't like, I don't know. It's, it's a very, it's a strange stand. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm going to go put her on the stand, fix her up a little bit, play with the cape and, or like this, the shawl. That's what it's called, a shawl. And then I'll be back with final thoughts and all that. Okay. So I fixed Jasmine up a little bit and I saw Brooke do this, X Kitten and says, I've been talking about her a lot, but I just, I love her content and I love her. So I'm going to talk about her as much as I can. She put the shawl like around Jasmine's hair. And I don't, I don't think she did what I ended up doing back here, but I think it looks cute from the front. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just think it looks really pretty. And it reminds me of like when she's in the streets in Agrabah, trying to hide away from everybody and just like be a normal person and see what's going on with her kingdom. So I don't know, but... I can confidently say that this is like one of my favorite 17 inch dolls and all the ones I have, I quite honestly adore. Like I have, um, oh, I have one, two, three, four, five different characters. I have two of my Kida because Kida will always be my favorite one. No one will top her because Kida is just my favorite Disney character of all time. But this is amazing and such like a beautiful tribute to Aladdin and the costume design that they did in that and honestly this reminds me of like a Broadway costume like the very intricate details but the not too busy top but and it's mainly on like the bottom here where you would usually see a lot of movement I just think it works so well like this would be such a good like dance costume or just like a, a production costume I'm very impressed I love this face like this makeup for jasmine i think is probably the prettiest she's ever looked if i had to say i there's just like something so soft and like obviously it's a very glam face but like there's something so soft about her expression and the way that she's looking it just makes me want to like go up and like hug her <laughs> which might be a, a little bit of a weird thing to say but i'm just very impressed i love how even the like pop of turquoise on like the earrings and the necklace um don't really clash with this like very deep indigo purple um like all the metal details are amazing i love all the bracelets like especially this one with all the rhinestones on it that one's really impressive the molding of everything's amazing the hairstyle is really gorgeous i honestly haven't seen the d23 one but i don't feel like i'm missing out on a lot i'm pretty i think she came with like a headpiece and there was, I think, probably, like, another layer on, like, this little, um, skirt part thing. I, I don't remember. I'm gonna have to watch a video on it again. But even for the 150 I think this is worth it compared to the other limited edition dolls that we've gotten within the last few years. Like, I started collecting in 2020. So my first one was the, I don't, again, I said this in my Anna and Elsa review back there, which if, if you haven't watched that, I freak the fuck out over those two dolls. <laughs> they're just, they're some of my favorites in my entire collection. But I started collecting with Rapunzel with that anniversary one. And I love that doll. I did an unboxing of her. I'm pretty sure if I didn't, then I, I still love that doll. I talk about her a lot. Qu 
quality is not there, but this is extremely impressive. Like all the appliques, the metal, the face mold, the makeup, the hair, the except like all the accessories, the shoes, the like the fabric, the materials, the lining, like it's all just so impressive and intricately done in a way that isn't too busy, but also like is so insanely detailed that like it alludes to so many things from the movie. It makes you feel like this could have been a costume that was cut from the movie or from the Broadway show. I'm gonna have to look up and see if this reminds me of any costumes from the Broadway show because I haven't seen that in probably almost a decade, which is crazy to say, but yeah, if you can find her at any Disney store or outlet or anything, get her. She's, I'm pretty sure she's on markdown for $74.49, I think is what the markdown price is, but with, at least with New York tax, it was 81 something at the end. Completely worth it. I'm like flabbergasted. I'm so excited to display her with my other one. I'm excited to take pictures of her with the other girls. And I'm just, I'm so happy. It's been a very Disney week for me. Like I've just been in a Disney mood. I've also just been waiting for the Little Mermaid live action dolls because where are they? <laughs> I know they're street dated for the 23rd, I'm pretty sure, but like, I want them now. But that's a whole nother thing because I will be doing probably a ma like a long video on that. Um, But I hope you guys enjoy. Um, Please like, comment, subscribe. I hopefully I can bring more Disney stuff to you, Disney edition stuff. I hope that they do more rollback stuff like this because this is like amazing for collectors like me that like don't want to commit at the beginning, but like are absolutely like in love and smitten with the dolls, so yeah but anyways i'm gonna bid you guys a farewell and i'll see you guys in the next one bye